All right, good morning, Israel. Good morning, believers. So this is going to be the third one for today. What have we been talking about? We've been talking about the serpent. The Elohim, the angels, the serpent. The serpent was here before. The serpent, the fowl of the air. The fish of the sea, the, the animals that swim in the sea, the whales, the mammals, the warm-blooded sea creatures, and the warm-blooded air creatures. If you can understand it, it's a metaphor for marine spirits and air spirits. The fowls in the air and the dolphins and whales and warm-blooded creatures, seals, otters. You ever seen a sea otter? Some of you have never seen a sea otter. You know why California is so amazing? Because the sea creatures here are amazing. The dolphins, the whales, the sea otters, the sea lions. It's This is this is Eden. This is the Garden of Eden. This place is awesome. If it wasn't for these devils trying to take everything from us. But anyhow, that's not the point. The point I'm trying to make, let's get back to what we're doing. Heavenly Father, bless the message. Give us a contrite, humble spirit. Let us bow before you and bow before your servants and your friends that are out trying to set things straight so that people won't be destroyed. We love you. We honor you. We praise you. We bow before you. We thank you. Gratitude over and over again. Gratitude, gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank you continually because that's all we can do is thank you for saving us through your son Jesus Christ and his warm blood that flowed like living waters into our spirit at Pentecost through the Holy, Holy Ghost. <coughs> Amen. Don't come to my channel. You don't want truth. Don't come to here. Don't come here. <laughs> Don't come here. You might actually learn something. So I went in the last two videos. I was going into the beginning of man, the beginning of man, the Elohim. God and the angels created the earth, created the marine spirits, created the light, the firmament, the witnesses, the angels, the stars. Then he created man to have dominion. over the earth who's the devil who really is the devil people man who has dominion over the earth Satan he's the angel of manly things, of earthly things. He's the, he's the serpent. He's the creature that's cold-blooded. Man disobeyed God. Man was supposed to have dominion over everything. Man is going to judge the angels. Don't you know you're going to judge me?
I have a lot of I have a lot of power here. But once we get to the heavenlies, I'm just gonna be a pillar. You're gonna put me in my place. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be put exactly where I need to be put to hold up the house. All I'm gonna be is some kind of some kind of pillar of justice. That's what he showed me. No more moving around, no more going up and down and all around. Seeking who I may destroy. <laughs> I, I'm not seeking, seeking whom I may destroy. It just happens that way. Because if, if you don't listen, it's it's not fun being Israel people. It's not. We don't we we. Anyhow, let's move on. I don't want to get all pity partied here. So, the serpent, the serpent, told Eve, "Hey, come here, baby. I got something for you." Gave her some bad, <laughs> gave her some bad dope. Fucking acid, bad acid trip. And Adam took it too. Ever since, whacked out. So what, what's really happening? What's really happening here? Okay, the angels were mad at God for making man. The angels were God, mad at God for making them make man. Why'd you make us make someone to rule over us? The truth was, man wasn't going to rule over us. We were just jealous, covetous. We wanted, we wanted, we wanted the flash. We wanted to fuck around with man, beasts. We thought it would be cool. Not cool. So the Lord said, you want to be beasts? I'll put you in these chains of darkness. When it talks of chains of darkness, not everyone can understand that because not everyone's Israel. Chains of darkness. What's that? You're, what do you mean you're in chains of darkness? This is, this is prison to me. It's dark. I'm in this dark place, in this dark place. Dirty, disgusting, fleshy body. And I have traits of a man. So the reason Israel is so borderline personality disordered. Borderline personality disorder just means you're probably Israel. And you're confused. What the fuck happened? You're not sure what to think. One minute you're happy, next minute you're sad, next minute you're mad, this pisses you off, that makes you happy, now that makes you mad. You understand? I, I'm fucked up here. It's got me fucked up. So, we're mad. We go to Eve, we're like, we get her to eat the fruit. Her eyes are open. She's fucking on a bad acid trip to this day. Man is lost. The spirits, the spirits mixed. We came on to the sons of men. No woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. 
Do, 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 do. So let's get it. So what's so what happened? What does Paul say in Romans? When it finally happens, Jesus comes, he gets on the pole, king of the Jews. Who do you look who do you look to for salvation? Israel. The fallen angels. That's who you should be looking for. Not pointing fingers at us. You should be looking for your prophets. For real, for real. Not just some asshole talking about lizard people and giants and come on, man. It's getting ridiculous out here. So the remnant, a remnant remains. What's the remnant? There's a small bunch of us that are part of the bigger cloth that know what's going on. We're not on drugs. We're not on acid. We're not whacked out of our minds. We're actually got our feet on the ground. A remnant remains, Romans 11. So what are we talking about? We're talking about, I'm here to get the Gentiles to recognize that I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to God. I'm sorry to you. I'm sorry to myself. I fucked up. Got me fucked up. Should have never wanted flesh. Should have never wanted to be a man. Should have been happy creating something so awesome and letting it be awesome. We couldn't just sit back and go, man, they got, they got it awesome in the garden. That's a fucking cool place. I made that. I made that. I made that. Pretty cool. I made that. Cool. Thank you, God. Leave it alone. Watchers, we were supposed to just watch. It was supposed to be a whole different story. And this is the story we're in. He's like, okay, this is where you're at now, bitches. We're all being punished. That's why this is the place of judgment. We're all being judged. It's, this is serious business. That's what we're doing here. We're taking care of business. People, people are just wandering around going, good for them. I say then, has God cast away his people? Cast down, cast down. No, God forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. No, no, I'm Benjamin. I know the story. Listen, God has not cast away his people, which he foreknew. You know not what, word of truth, what you not, you know not what the scripture said of Elias, how he makes intercession to God against Israel saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars and I am left alone and they seek my life. These other fallen angels, you wonder why my channel has only us? They hate me. I'm doing the right thing. I'm telling the truth. They hate me. They can't do anything to me because I'm fucking protected. But you don't, you don't see anybody going, fuck, man. J.D. Nigel's right. The Lord's with him. I admit it. He's, he's, he's got it. He's got the truth. No, nope, they don't do that because they can't. They're, Fucking serpents. 
But what said the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing games with these guys. Ain't gonna happen. Can't. I can't. Even so, then at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. How did I get here? Why am I here? Why am I doing this? He's given me undeserved favor. I don't deserve it. I realize my mistake. I should have never been messing with men. You're going off, JD Naja. You're you're I'm not. This is this is the Bible, people. There's a small remnant. And if by grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. In other words, it's got to be grace before it's anything. The work is understanding as an angel. I finally figured out, and that's why I'm here. I finally figured out what happened. What did I do wrong? I never should have messed with men. I should have been happy saying, I made that. I helped make that. I did that. I help. I help. Thank you, Lord. That's awesome. I, I. Be happy. Be be grateful. Be happy to be the angel you are. Angels aren't above man. Listen. What then? Israel has not obtained which it seeks for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Some of us get it, and some of us don't. Vincent Rhodes doesn't get it. He's fucking lost. Tony Baloney doesn't get it. Gabar, Tahar, Nate, a lot of people don't get it. Israel? I ish? Jewish? Jewish? Some of the rabbis get it. Some of them don't. Some of them are masters of, of the book and some are just masters of the lie. Do you understand? According as is written, God has given them the spirit of slumber. Eyes it should not see and ears it should not hear unto this day. A lot of Israel is completely blinded. The ones that could change things like me the Lord said, they're not going to change. And he made them dumb. Do they have any, does, can Tony Williams change? Can Gabar change? God could change them, but they can't change themselves. I could talk, I could tell them over and over again, every day. They could, I could look at them in the eye and go, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. They're not going to get it. And David said, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense onto them. What did my dad say? Fuck these guys. I conquered the Gentiles because that's what the Lord had me do. I conquered the Gentiles. Let me see what I got. Do you understand? You guys Are, are you guys starting to get it? I love you guys. It's my only hope is to have Gentiles come in under me and go, we're following J.D. Nyjah into the kingdom. He's, he's the dopest angel of them all. He follows Bob Marley. He follows the Benjamites. He is Rastafari. He's eye and eye on eye. Conquering Lion of Judah. We are the children of God. We are the sons of God. I am. David said, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block. How many times have I told you? It's a setup. These people are setting you up with their bullshit stories. 
about giants and serpents and and snakes and lizard people and, and fallen angels and it's a lot more simple than that people let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow their back away they're like Ugh! I say then have they stumbled that they should fall God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. Is he, are we, are some of us still pissed off? Fallen angels, saints of the most high. Are we, some of us still pissed off? Yeah. Look at Gabar. Look at Tahar. Look at the black Hebrew ignorites. These guys hate the Gentiles. They don't get it. They're jealous of, they're still jealous. I'm not jealous. Look what I did. I made, I made God, what God wanted made. I did the will of God. I made man. Look what I did. Look what I did. Look what I helped do. I know that now. I'm proud of it. I love the Gentiles. Look at what I did. I helped God. I am a servant. Messenger. Now I'm a messenger. Same thing. Now, if the fall of them be the riches of the world and the diminishing of them, the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness? Who's going up and who's going down? The fall of us, we had to get sent down So that the Gentiles could be lifted up. The Gentiles are forgiven for taking the fruit. And we're forgiven for offering the fruit. It's both of us. We have to be together, better together. For I speak to, to you Gentiles in as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles. I magnify my office. What am I doing as a Benjamite, people? My office is to tell you that I know the truth. You're the dope. You're the good stuff. We ruined you. And you ruined yourself by letting us ruin you. That's the story. It's not that difficult. Now we all come in together. But you have to forgive me. And I have to forgive myself. If by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh and might save some of them. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to get these other idiots to understand. Provoke I'm provoking everyone. I'm provocative because I have the truth. Do you think I don't wish I could just shut up and go get laid? Do some dope, watch some porn, get high, whatever. Go surf. Go watch a movie, just be normal in the world. It's not going to be like that for me. It's never been that like that for me. He gave me some time to, to have some fun here. But now it's time to get serious, people. For if the fruit, first fruits be holy, that's me, the lump is also holy, and if the root be holy, so are the branches. If I, if I help make you, if I'm the root of your existence, Gentiles, then I'm holy, you're holy, we're all holy. We need to get that into our minds. And if not the root be holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches be broken off and not are grafted in, so on and so forth. Do you guys understand? I need to go get me some nose strips. I sleep a lot better with the nose strip. That's the story. 
That's the story, Morning Glory. Why do you think he told me I was of Israel? Because some of us really are Israel. But you'll know Israel because they'll love the Gentiles. They'll love Jesus Christ. True, if, true Israel doesn't believe in planets. True Israel believes the Gentiles can be saved. True Israel knows that Jesus Christ was not born of some joker called Joseph. True Israel is not a color scheme. True Israel is repentant for dragging themselves into this pit and making this garden into a fucking cesspool.